All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. So today we've got um, a sort of pivotal day. We're going into this T-square um, involving Mercury, who has been squaring up to Uranus from yesterday, and who is going to start to square up to Jupiter tomorrow. So this T-square between essentially this opposition we've had between Jupiter and Uranus, this tug of war, this push and pull between wanting freedom in our life and implementing it in healthy ways and perhaps seeing possibilities and potentials in our life, but wanting to maybe make some revolutionary changes. And all this can be very constructive, very healthy. Uh, but it is about, especially this week in the T-square, impl implementing this in a slow and steady way. And that's essentially what this whole lunar cycle has been about. The uh, new moon was in Capricorn, which is about climbing things one step at a time, a bit of that reserve and grounded perspective on things. Uh, the moon is in Pisces here today, so very watery as it was yesterday, in this early phase of the lunar cycle, things are moving forward, but um, there is this sort of receptive energy needed with that. Uh, maybe listening to our intuition, listening to that inner guidance, and just being receptive to how things flow. All right, so let's go and look at this in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the placements, early phase of the lunar cycle. Crescent phase is about um, implementation, maybe implementing some ideas from last weekend. You know, thinking back to then, did you have some new perspectives? Did you see something in a new way? Maybe some new things were shaping up in your life. So excellent part of the week to cultivate those things, nurture those seeds, those little seedlings. They're starting to sprout now and uh, water them with Pisces, you know, access that intuition. All right, that receptive approach, being present, connecting to our beingness, all of this is essentially assisting us um, in this early phase of things. Not to mention, too, that our relationships can benefit from that, which has been Venus and Pisces, unconditionality, acceptance, spiritual connection, and Mars, getting things done in a more receptive way, finding that current of life and using the current of life, right, to get things done. So definitely Piscean, definitely watery, but definitely grounded still uh, with that sun, of course, in Capricorn. Now, today is a pivotal day. Like I was saying, there is that um, T-square involving Mercury. So yesterday, Mercury was squaring up to Uranus. Um, and going into tomorrow, Mercury will be squaring up to Jupiter. All right. And this is actually involving an opposition between Uranus and Jupiter um, since late December. So in a much larger picture, if you can think back to late December when this first started, and mind you, this is going into 2017, all the way through September of uh, 2017. But uh, yeah, just last month, was there anything that you're feeling like you wanted to make some revolutionary changes with in your life? Or you're feeling like you wanted to have more freedom or change? Something like this. Maybe it's about possibilities. Maybe it's about potentials. Maybe it's about big picture things, your theories, your ideas, things like this. So uh, it's a very good year to essentially integrate these two, both the freedom and possibilities. And this week in the T-square, though, it might be maybe challenging to do that. Or maybe there's some effort, some work you can do that you might feel like you want to do or need to do to cultivate those. But it might take some initiation, some action, some uncomfortable action sometimes with the square. So that's a much larger picture. And I think that's a great way of working with this week. On a more everyday level, though, uh, with these two aspects, maybe from yesterday, today might still be a bit clunky, maybe a bit uneasy or restless. It's quite possible with that um, square up to Uranus. And like I was saying, flexibility and adaptability are really good ways of working with this, especially with Uranus and Pisces. Right. Again, that beingness, being present, seeing that um, it's actually through the Piscean approach, through approaching things with more acceptance, letting go, detachment can help us flow through the, di through the day if you are feeling any type of you know, restriction or disruptiveness or something like that to the routine or to the mind. All right, but I think that's gonna be easing up actually as the day unfolds, um, coming off of what was probably more a higher point with that uh, yesterday or maybe earlier today. All right, then as we go into tomorrow, which will feel more so tomorrow, but definitely um, as the day unfolds, maybe even in the evening, uh, Mercury starting to square up to Jupiter. All right, so with this one, this is more about the beliefs. All right, so on a day-to-day -day level, maybe we are quite exuberant about our beliefs. Maybe we're swinging with the pendulum. Maybe we're very optimistic 
on one extreme and then maybe pessimistic on the other or a little bit of both or one or the other depending on your personal chart. So, um, you know, oftentimes with this, it's that, you know, Jupiter, which is our belief systems, is squaring up to Mercury, which is more like the, the practical reality of things. So the beliefs are sort of clashing with the reality. And so it's good to stay nice and grounded, to see the reality, to know there's possibilities, but again, to take the action, take that grounded approach. And that's really what this whole lunar cycle really is about uh, with Capricorn. All right, so those are the two most important aspects. A minor note, uh, Mercury will be sextiling up to Chiron, so there could be some healing uh, taking place today. I don't think it's going to be very deep or very intense. I think there's just some opening maybe in the second half of the day um, to do some healing, some acceptance. I think we'll be willing to do that, or it can be quite easy to do that. And uh, as a result, there could be some rejuvenation, some refreshment uh, going into tomorrow. All right, and that's the uh, sun sextiling up to the moon there, the crescent phase, early phase, which does suggest that there is this opening about things. Again, in regards to last weekend, if there was some insights, some new beginnings, uh, it's a really good part of the week to uh, move those forward. All right, so that is the day in a nutshell. Definitely this T-square, Mercury square Uranus, maybe a bit of clunkiness, uneasiness, information maybe, something just clashing there with the mind and routine that can require a bit of integration, through flexibility and adaptability. As we go into tomorrow, balancing those belief systems, seeing possibilities, even expressing ourselves in ways that is open-minded, right? And um, communicating our, our, ourselves in ways that are you know, open-minded and open to others' beliefs and just seeing things perhaps in a new light that may, might not be so you know, rigid to our beliefs or our perspectives, things like this. And if it's just with us personally, just being willing to be flexible with our minds right? To see things in our life, perhaps from a new angle, perhaps. All right. So that's a great way of working with that. And again, this is all part of a much larger picture since late December. If you've been personally feeling like you want to make some changes in your life for more freedom, maybe you want to cultivate some big picture possibilities, some potentials. Um, it is an excellent year for this. And this week with the T-square, where we can take the initiation and the action to do that in healthy, long-term and grounded ways. And that's really what this whole uh, lunar cycle is about with Capricorn, right? Seeing the big picture and right now, today, being receptive, listening to that intuition and connecting to that beingness. All right. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you again for all of your support and I will see you all tomorrow.